So this one here, I'm going to talk about seasonality. When I look at this, what I'm noticing is it's very tight. Okay, it's not all over the place. There's not um, one here, one there, one there, one through the middle. It's actually very snug. The other thing I can see is that there's, um, as the years go with the graduation, you can see that that's 19 something and that's 2000. So you can see that it's going down. So the things I could comment is it has, a, it does have seasonality. So you actually state it has seasonality. The peaks are January, February. Uh, so that's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So the peaks are February, March, and the troughs are August, September. Okay? Peaks and troughs. So if you're explaining seasonality, you're saying, yes, there's seasonality. The peak is, is roughly this and the trough is roughly that. You're getting the values that the peak is roughly adding four onto the trend line. In this case, it's four million kilometres squared of ice. And the trough months are basically, and I'm just going to guess, negative five, taking five off. Okay? So there's five million square kilometres less ice. Now, um, this range of the seasonality, if that's four and that's negative five, the range is nine. Okay? And if we go back up, our range of the raw data is, if we take kind of the top bit there and the bottom bit there, just from memory, that was about 11. Okay? So if we go back to our season, seasonality, if I go 9, divide by 11 on my calculator, I think I get 82%. So 82% of the variation in, in the values is actually down to seasonality. So seasonality has a big effect on this, on the amount of ice, on the, what are we, Arctic or Antarctic? We should be able to work. Arctic. Arctic. Where did I get the nine from? From the difference. So what I did is I looked at the scale here. So this is your average seasonal effect. And the four is here. So that's like above the trend. And the negative five, I've just gone, well, I think that's negative one. That's negative three, negative four, negative five. So this here is below five below, and that's four above. And four plus five is nine. Okay? So I then put that is the range of the raw data. I went that divided by that equals, and it's 0 0.82. So that's 82%. All righty? So I'm going to put done on that because I think that's enough for one video. So that gives you your comment on seasonality. Think peaks, troughs, and you want to be merit like you get what percentage of the um, series is, is due to seasonality.